As people preparing for product manager interview at Uber, DoorDash, LinkedIn, and all those top companies, very frequently you will be asked to do a take-home assignment, to do a case study. And no matter what kind of level you are, it could be associate product manager level and all the way to the director product level, this kind of case is usually very hard to crack because you have limited time prepared for those cases. You can only present your outcome within a few pages of PowerPoint slides. And on top of that, you don't know how much time and effort you need to put into those cases in order to pass this interview. In this video, I want to share with you the top five strategy to get a 100% success rate to do your take home exam for product management interview. For any of my students who apply the exact same strategies and review the take home exam with me, all of them are able to get the A plus answers and people are very impressed about their take home exam. Today, let me share with you those secrets today. Please make sure to take notes and share this video with any people preparing for product manager interview. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy V, founder, product manager, accelerator from drnancyv.com. I help people transition from a worker bee to a product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to land your dream product manager job, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. Before we get started, I want you to download this top 50 product manager interview questions and database so that you know what to expect when have any interviews coming up and use those to do your mock interviews. Now let's take a look at an example of the take-home assignment to do a product case study. Find an app or website you use and come up with a plan to improve the feature or add a new one to make it more engaging. Prepare a Google Slides to present five to eight slides to walk us through your thoughts and process and proposal, and including screenshot and all through mockups. Make sure to cover how you would measure success and test against these measurements. These are very typical take-home assignment. When everybody give you this kind of assignment, I want to see this as a product portfolio. This is how I teach people to do in the Product Manager Accelerator. I want you to start to see any take-home exam as if you're working in the real-life scenario, what would you do? If you are in my Product Manager Accelerator, you can go to Module 4 to see the detailed description, how to create a portfolio, and see the sample take-home examples from your alumni. If you are not in my Product Manager Accelerator, you can directly go to this free training right here where I teach you how to use a product portfolio to impress the hiring managers and then your product manager dream job offer. Now let's talk about the following five strategies. Tip number one, talk about the mission and why of this company and why the building and improving such product. The first paragraph of your take home exam should be something very general about why you're building this product. And this is very critical so that the hiring manager can see that any product you build is in alignment with a mission and the goal of this company so that you have a long-term vision. Let's use designing the Google Travel app as an example. The mission of Google is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. And then you align why you build a travel app during the COVID environment to meet the mission of Google. Tip number two, you need to segment your customers. Lots of people make this kind of mistake. When they talk about how to improve certain product, you directly talk about yourself. However, you forgot about other different kind of customer segmentations. For example, you need to talk about the two-sided marketplace for travel app. There are people who use the app to travel, such as us. There's also people who provide travel services, such as airline companies and the hotel. All those companies are very important to make the entire marketplace very balanced. After you define the two-sided marketplace, you need to provide the sub-segment of each marketplace. For example, for people who are seeking travel services, they could be travel for business, Group travelers, such as families, could also be individual travelers. If you want to learn how to segment customer based on the two selling marketplace methodology, you need to watch this free training right here where I talk about the top 20 interview questions and meta and how would you use a two selling marketplace to segment your customers. And you can check out the free training and I see the link in the description as well. After you segment those customers, I want you to put them into a persona template. And specifically, there are so many different kinds of personas and I want you to talk about each persona for the segment you prioritize. And for example, if you are in my product manager accelerator, you can directly download the persona training in module three. If you're not in my product manager accelerator, I want you to watch this playlist of how to become an outstanding product manager of how to build customer persona. Tip number three, you should only talk about customer pain points, not features too early. Lots of people made this mistake. They directly jump into specific features you can improve, but 
they forgot to talk about the pain point. There are different segments. Each segment has different pain points. For example, for people who travel with families, like myself, currently become a new mom, my needs are very different from someone who travel who a single young man travel for leisure, right? So the pain points will lead to different kind of features you need to design. So I want you to start with pain point inside of the features. Starting from 2022, I want to go live on YouTube to coach people for free through the live mock interviews and product manager interview answers reviews through me during the live weekly the YouTube. If you want to join me live and get coached for free, you can see the description down below and submit your questions through a Google form. And I also want you to share and like and comment any of my YouTube videos because the people who have the most likes and comments every week will be invited to get trained by me for free through the YouTube live stream. Tip number four, I want you to conduct customer interviews to gain customer empathy. Usually I recommend people to do 20 customer interviews and those 20 can be divided by three customer segmentations, which means each segment you can have about six people to be interviewed so that you can have a better insight, understand why, and turn all the useful information into the empathy of customers and their pain point that will inspire you to have outstanding answers for your take-home exam. When you do customer interviews, please make sure to ask lots of why questions. And if you're in my product manager accelerator, you can download the specific interview question script you can use for customer interviews there in module three. If you're not in my program, you can directly check out those free trainings in the description of this video. Tip number five is create a wireframe of the solutions you provided. Specifically, when you create a wireframe, you can directly use those tools and the examples I'm sharing you right now. If you have any interview coming up, I want you to be fully prepared. So get ready to download this top 50 product manager interview questions and database and in the description of this video so that you know what to expect and use those for your mock interviews. Once you have your take-home assignment ready, I want you to get ready to present your outcome with your interviewer. And frequently, the presentation also comes for 50% of the entire work. I'm gonna create a separate video and teach you how to do a better presentation. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video with any people who are preparing for product manager interviews because this specific video might change lots of people's life who are able to land their dream job offer in product management field. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.